Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to evaluate this very nice expression. 5 to the power 99 plus 5 to the power 19 plus 5 to the power negative 1 divided by 5 to the power 59 minus 5 to the power 39 plus 5 to the power negative 1. So let's start. First we multiply and divide this expression by 5. We multiply this 5 by these 3 terms, this will become 5 times 5 to the power 99 plus 5 times 5 to the power 19 plus 5 times 5 to the power negative 1 divided by, we multiply this 5 by these 3 terms, this will become 5 times 5 to the power 59 minus 5 times 5 to the power 39 plus 5 times 5 to the power negative 1. Now by using this power rule a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. This expression will become 5 to the power 100 plus 5 to the power 20 plus 5 to the power 0 divided by 5 to the power 60 minus 5 to the power 40 plus 5 to the power 0. Next, this 5 to the power 100 can be written as 5 to the power 20 times 5 plus uh, this uh, 5 to the power 20 remains same, 5 to the power 20 plus this uh, 5 to the power 0 will become 1 divided by this uh, 5 to the power 60 can be written as uh, 5 to the power 20 times 3 minus this 5 to the power 40 can be written as uh, 5 to the power 20 times 2 plus uh, this uh, 5 to the power 0 will become 1 Next, by using this power rule, a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. This will become 5 to the power 20 whole to the power 5 plus 5 to the power 20 plus 1 divided by this denominator will become 5 to the power 20 whole cubed minus 5 to the power 20 whole squared plus 1. We suppose that uh, let 5 to the power 20 is equal to x. So this expression will become x to the power 5 plus uh, x plus 1 divided by x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Now in this uh, numerator we add and subtract x squared. So this will become x to the power 5 we subtract x squared and we add x squared plus uh, this x plus 1 x plus 1 divided by this expression x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Now from these two terms uh, x to the power 5 minus x squared we can factor out x squared. So x squared as common factor in bracket left uh, x cubed minus 1 plus uh, this remaining x squared plus uh, x plus uh, 1 divided by this uh, denominator remains same uh, x cubed minus x squared plus uh, 1. Next, now this one is same as one cubed. So by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This expression in the numerator will become x squared times 
x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. From these three terms, we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left, x squared plus x plus 1 divided by this denominator remains same x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Now, as you can see in the numerator, we have this expression as common x squared plus x plus 1. So, we factor out this x squared plus x plus 1. And in bracket left, in bracket left, this x squared times x minus 1 and this plus 1. In bracket left, x squared times x minus 1 plus 1 divided by this denominator remains same x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Next, further simplify this numerator. This will become x squared plus x plus 1 times distribute this x squared. This will become x squared times x x cubed x squared times negative 1 negative x squared plus this 1 divided by this denominator x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Now this expression x cubed minus x squared plus 1 will be cancelled out with this x cubed minus x squared plus 1. So we are left with only this expression x squared plus x plus 1. And we recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, 5 to the power 20 is equal to x. We have supposed that uh, x is equal to 5 to the power 20. So this expression will become 5 to the power 20 whole squared plus uh, 5 to the power 20 plus 1. Next, by using this power rule, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This will become 5 to the power 20 times 2 plus 5 to the power 20 plus 1. Next, 5 to the power 20 times 2 will become 5 to the power 40 plus this 5 to the power 20 plus this 1. So this is the simplest form. This is the final answer of this problem.